back to my channel today I'm planning from the 14th to the 20th of October using this beautiful tender designs kit now I've used the date covers from Blackbird Print Co because I didn't want the white to show up on the blue background and I'm also showing you guys now that I'm using these functional boxes from Jessica Kate planning because I didn't think the pink and the greens really went with the kit and I wanted to make it more purple focused because you know it's me so I love purple that's why I wanted to go with that these are the other stickers that I'm pulling in stuff from Sinister Designs Once More With Love, Lily and Lions, Sticker Thief, um, Doodles Do, Jessica Kate Planning, Planner Goddess Studio, Status Paper Co, That Planner Girl Wednesday Planning, Claire Bear Prince, you guys know the drill. All of the codes will be linked below. I know that I am a stickler or I'm just a creature of habit so I keep using the same stuff. In the back plans with me, which are the new things that I want to do on my channel, I'm trying to do a few different things and use a variety of stickers so let me know if you like that. But my plan with me is that are for me for the week ahead that are functional i guess i just like what i like and i'm not going to change up my stickers for a video because i just want to use what i want to use if that makes sense but for the back plan with me i'm happy to do more of a variety because i'm not going to use it i'm just doing it for you guys i hope that makes sense as i said i didn't want to use the headers or the boxes that were part of the kit so I've pulled some stickers for the sidebar from previous Jessica Kate planning because the colors went with the Jessica Kate planning quarter and half boxes I really really like how this turned out with all the different purples I'm really glad that I stuck with my guns and went for the different colors I just didn't think the green and the pink went and that's just my point of view anyway I'm filming this on Thursday night I'm in bed after having a lovely afternoon at a twilight market down in Albury and I just caught up with a friend and met one of her friends and it was just a really nice relaxing time had some bubble tea and then I had a bit of a list date and went out for dinner on my own and then I went shopping and yeah I just had a really really nice afternoon probably should have walked the dogs but can take them for a run tomorrow which I've decided I don't want to put the pressure on myself to go to the gym because I get I'm getting a bit of anxiety about going because I know how hard the sessions are whereas I'm not getting anxiety about running like I really want to go for a run so maybe I'll start with that and build up from there because I, I want it to be enjoyable if going for runs and exercising is enjoyable it's more it's going to be more um maintainable and it's it's going to be more enjoyable i guess <laughs> monday the 14th is dylan and my four year anniversary so that's very exciting the only problem is he's going to be at work and i'm hardly going to see him so that's going to be great so no changes there but the weekend before so the like i'm filming thursday so by the time this goes up we're probably going to be on our romantic date not that he's very romantic I love him to death but he he isn't without his flaws um thank god he's not home while I'm doing this like I love him so much but there are definitely things that I need to improve on and definitely things that he needs to improve on and I think a lot of his things are about um emotions and showing love and things like that and I think that comes from Here's me putting my psychology, not that I ever did psychology, but like, you know, this would be what I would say as a counsellor. I think it stems from his dad leaving him when he was six or something. Anyway, I'll stop talking about that because you guys probably don't need to know all about Dylan's past. But yeah, we're going really well. The, the hardest part at the moment is him working until 9pm at night and me then wanting to go to bed at that time. So... Thankfully, we have been having some time off, and especially over weekends, but then because we want to spend the weekends together, we then overcompensate and get sick of each other, which isn't much fun. 
but at least we're taking the dogs for a walk when we can and stuff like that and we're gonna go out for pasta on the Saturday night so I'll break my keto and I'll go out for pasta with him because who doesn't love a big yummy bowl of pasta so very excited about that I love this tea girl from Status Paper Co she is so cute and I used her last week for watching RuPaul's Drag Race because you know they always talk about spilling the tea in drag culture so I really liked using her I don't think the blue half box, quarter box, whatever, fits, but I didn't want to use another Jessica Kate Plan new releases, so that's what I used it there for. And this week, because I didn't use the checklist boxes, I wanted to have two of the PR posts that I'm doing on Instagram. So, yeah, I wanted to do that this week. I think going forward next year, I'm going to use my hobo for all things social media related and not have it in my EC at all maybe for new releases and maybe for sales but not for PR posts because for days that are really busy that just kind of doesn't take up space or waste space but could be used in better way I don't know I'm just waffling I'm in a really good mood and it's so great that the antidepressants are working yay <laughs> and also Friday so this will be the day, I don't know, I'm getting confused with the days now. But Planet Goddess Studio is doing some amazing new releases, like 13 kits or something, including these amazing Christmas kits and all of that stuff. So you've got to gotta go check Planet Goddess Studio out. Vicky's doing an amazing job and she's in high school. Like, what the fuck? I didn't have my life together when I was in high school. I don't even have my life together now. Like, what are people doing? They're good on you. Good on you, Vicky. Shout out to you. Also, shout out to um, Vicky Plans because you're a legend. And Mellow Plans, I love you too. All of I'm just in a great mood. Like, I love all of you guys. I hope that this voiceover is enjoyable. I'm just ranting about nothing. Anyway, uh, Plan with Jess can have a shout out as well. Love your work. I love her videos. If you guys like my videos, how they're short and sweet, Make sure you go check her out because her videos are very similar to mine. I, I think hopefully you don't take offence Jess. I like how they're short to the point and she does voiceovers as well. But sometimes when you're in the mood for a really long plan with me's and really want to relax for a long time, then the longer 45 minute videos looking at you Mel um, are great. <laughs> I love these full boxes and then me dumb fuck realize that I've put the girl right above the girl that's so stupid so I take the undo and I move it around a little bit so how are people going with daylight savings it really fucked with my head I didn't sleep very well and then like it's just maybe because I also got my period at the same time it just hasn't been dealing well with me recently but it's fine I'm not too tired and back onto drinking tea because it's not super duper hot so I can drink my cup of tea before going to bed, which is nice. I had a really nice bubble tea today. It was mandarin with strawberry jelly. Oh, it was so delicious. And I was joking with them because they're like a mother and son that owns a store. I was joking around saying that I should promote their, their bubble tea and things like that. So shout out to Modern Boba in Albury. Um, if you are in Aubrey, not that any of you guys are, but when Maya from Sticker Thief, uh, Maya from Sticker Thief comes up to Aubrey, have modern boba with me every day. It's delicious. And it started from nothing and they're doing really well. I'm very happy that we have bubble tea here. Um, keto, I know a few of you guys are interested with my keto. I haven't noticed huge changes recently but I've been doing lazy keto like some weekends I've been drinking like last weekend we had the engagement party and then they're like oh free cider from now on and I'm like well fuck it I'm not buying nine dollar drinks I'm getting free cider so they, there's some carbs there and then I was drunk so I had nachos and yeah I, I've tried to be good with my main meals and stuff like that but week weekends is really hard um going out for dinner is hard as well but yeah um a couple of people have been complimenting me which is nice I just 
I'm still not in fitting into clothes that I fit into a couple of years ago and that's kind of the goal. I've got this size 10 forever new dress that I got from the op shop and it is beautiful and I'd love to fit into it for like if and when Dylan and I get engaged and we have an engagement party or something that's the dress that I want to be able to fit into so I need to get to a size 10 and I remember I bought it because it just didn't zip up and now I don't even reckon I'd be able to even try it on so I've done it once we can do it again um, some things that I like cooking keto cauliflower carbonara that's like my favorite go-to you just saute garlic in the pan and then you put your chopped up bacon in there make sure it's brown and then you put the cream and then you put your chopped up cauliflower and then let that sit for a little bit and then when that's when the cauliflower is kind of soft then you add an egg yolk sometimes I do sometimes I don't and then you just chop it with top it with parmesan cheese it's that simple I love it um, I just searched keto carbonara on google and that's what it came up with um, my mum really likes chorizo, sour cream and cheese as her meal, but I, I feel like that's too fatty. Like, I don't know, I, I, I've had it a couple of times and I just find it, I, maybe I'm not cooking the cauliflower right, I don't know. Um, I also really like just any meat and then cauliflower mash, and my cauliflower mash is like cooked cauliflower with sour cream and parmesan cheese all blitzed together. It's freaking delicious. So yummy. Anyway, hopefully you guys are eating or something while you're watching this and I'm not making you hungry. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this plan with me. I've rattled on about jack shit and have just been in a really ecstatic mood. And then I put some deco up the top of the page flags. And that brings us to the end of the video, guys. And I'm just collecting the kit and showing you what I've got left of it. So... I could definitely use the functional part of this kit for another plan with me in the future just because I didn't use the boxes at all. The purple goes really really well with like the witchy vibe. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!